I, I don't think I know my Leia anymore. <laughs> my sister. When did you get here? And why haven't you come to the house? <laughs> I had people eager to hear the words of our Savior. Mother and father, are they well? They'll be better for seeing you. Hmm. Will I be accepted by all my brothers? Let me speak to father. Behold, days are coming, says the Lord, when I will send a famine on the land. Not a famine for bread or a thirst for water, but rather for hearing the words of the Lord. Behold, a sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seed fell on rocky places. Because they had no root, they withered away. And some seed fell among the thorns, and the thorns choked them out. But some seed fell upon the good earth, and brang forth fruit, even to a hundredfold. Let him that hath ears hear, him that hath eyes see. What do you think, Esther? Have you and the other women gotten rid of all the leaven? Well, there might be a little left, but I'm sure you can find it. Abba! David! The hell? Baruch Hashem! Oh, you're finally here! Let me look at you. Mm, you've turned into a fine boy. Where are Yosef and the girls? Well, here they come now. Father. Judah is in the village. He was teaching in the square. Still spouting the words of Yeshua's good news? Yes. His kind are everywhere in Jerusalem. Nothing but troublemakers. We've heard. Father, please ask him to come home. Yosef! Your brother is right. Father, you can't do this. What will people think? He is your brother, the firstborn of this family. Do you want him to spend Passover alone in the street? That's not the point, Father. He's trying to lead people away from the teachings of the sages. Have you ever even given him a chance to explain his beliefs? Yosef speaks the truth. Why not show Yuda the strength of your faith by listening to him? Go and bring Yuda home for Passover. I'll go with them. Joseph, your brothers can manage. And you need to get ready for the Sabbath. Go. I've dreamt of this day for so long, Jacob. Mm. Esther, let's make sure the house is ready. Hmm? I can't believe he's doing this. Remember how they used to argue when you to live that home? It'll be a disaster. And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with lamps and I will punish the men who stagnate in spirit, who say in their hearts, the Lord will not do good or evil. All leaven that may still be in my possession, which I have not seen, shall be annulled and considered as the dust of the earth. Amen. Amen. We'll talk again. Shalom, Judah. Shalom, Alechem, David, my brother, Yitzhak. Father sent us to find you. He wants you home for Passover. Ah. And what do my brothers want? We honor our father's wishes as the commandments tell us. We don't want you causing any trouble. Trouble? There must be no talk of Yeshua. Why not? 
It is written and... I'm sick of you telling me what's written! Yes, we've studied the scriptures, Even too. if we didn't have the same privileges. Privileges? Yeah, you were the eldest. And granted time from your chores to study, you became a rabbi? Father gave you every opportunity. And look how you've thrown them all away. I have thrown nothing away. All I have done is discarded the dead traditions of man. I have not thrown away the scriptures such as others have done. You follow a false prophet, my brother. He is not a false prophet. He is the son of God. You have betrayed our family's honor and squandered its dreams. You bring nothing home to show for the hopes that were placed in you. I have acquired riches greater than man's imaginings since Yeshua came into my life. And I have come home to share them with you. Please don't hurt this family any more than you already have, Yuda. Or all our hearts will be as hard as his. Harden your hearts against me if you must. But do not harden your heart against God. Blessed art thou, O God, our Lord, who has given us life and sustained us and has enabled us to reach this season of joy. Amen. Amen. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Inside, Judah. We need to get ready for the Seder. Now the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, Say to the children of Israel, It is the Lord's Passover. So this day shall be to you a memorial, and you shall keep it as a feast to the Lord throughout your generations, as an everlasting ordinance. Judah, you sit next to me. We thought that when Yeshua was crucified, you might return home. I suppose you were busy teaching Yeshua's good news. Yeshua has no place in this house. I too believe that Yeshua is the Messiah, Itzhak. Yosef, keep quiet. Itzhak, enough. It's time to recite the Kiddush and begin. The first cup of wine, the cup of Kiddush, the cup of sanctification. When the people of Israel escaped the slavery of the Pharaoh and went out of the land of Egypt, they came to the wilderness of Sinai. There, God told them through Moses and Aaron that they were his chosen people. Obey my voice and keep my covenant, and you shall be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. Judah, you are the rabbi. 